Hi everyone, this is Yishak from Essential Education Tube. Today I brought you some very, very important lesson on SAD. Thanks for the invitation, Mr. Galeta. Um, I'm from Marvel English Tube, so this is organized in collaboration with Essential Education Tube based on your request. I've heard that many times you've been in uh, trouble dealing with SAD items. So Mr. Galeta and I talked about the situation in why not a lesson. So today I'm going to brief you on what SAD is and the most important sections, particularly dealing with the English section, I hope um, you'll find it to be very useful. So I'll start by telling you about what it is. As you all know, the ACD is kind of standardized test. That's a kind of test for university and college entrance. Actually, it's a kind of international test. But when it comes to our situation, a grade 12 student is expected to score a reasonable amount to see that whether he's fit or not. Um, by the way, aptitude means mental fitness. Uh, this refers to how smart you are. It's not merely about knowledge, but it's just about a combination of different kinds of disciplines. And it makes it hard for a student to score high grades, usually. So, and now, I'll try to make some higher commitment so that we can understand each other. Um, why do we take SAD? Because universities would like to know how competent we are. Usually, our language and mathematics skills are asked. But the math part is somewhat easy, so the students don't usually find it hard. The English part gives you a hard time. So, you got to deal with it in a wonderful manner. So today I brought you the verbal reasoning part. The Ethiopian entrance exam uh, consists of 60 items divided into two sections, the verbal reasoning and the quantitative reasoning. The verbal reasoning refers to the language part and it's got series of uh, sections. So I'll describe it there. By the way, we've been dealing with such uh, things for years, so we are quite at home with it. And I hope if you attend this lesson, you will benefit out of it. So, shall we go to the sections? All right, uh, here I've got the sections and one example for each item. Um, so I'll try to show you how we can deal with it. As you know, the verbal reasoning section refers to the English section. It's the English part. So you are expected to be good at your reading, vocabulary, and maybe some reasoning qualities. Well, the first section is analogy. Analogy is just making some comparisons between uh, two items. For example, you will be given a pair of words in capital letters. As you can see, compass, navigation, and the words given are usually in cups. Okay? Compass, navigation. So your task is finding more or less the same relation between the other pairs given in the options. How do you relate the two? You know, a compass is a tool that is used for navigation. So apply the same sentence to the rest of the pairs, like is a pilot a tool for flight? No, no. Is time a tool for clock? No way. Is camera a tool used for photography? Yes. Now there is a relation. So the, the relation that exists between a compass and navigation is also the same as the relation between, the relation between a camera and photography. So there is a tool and purpose relation. 
a tool and purpose relation. So you deal with analogy items this way, it's very easy. Once you make once you construct a kind of sentence or you work it out the relation to the word is, it's very easy. And now Sarah will know. But the period was yellow ticket and yagin unit. Kawaken the merch of the yellow period were roots to the moon. Tamas as a religion, my fellow. Mazamid. Do you give me a problem? No, you is it were roots rarer than usual. Slow and only somewhat. Mazamid, I kept the menamuk ala beyond. And now I'm still in the room. Trying to do as many questions as possible because there is a likelihood of repetition. And I say it like, Fatano Chuzuze, Yemen de Gagamari, which color to common nature. So let Tamari, Bzuti Yaki Besara to quarter. And then you'll be good at your vocabulary, letting a technical room tomorrow. And then you just feel that that's familiar. Psychologically, really call out confidence, color to let a young station a classification. Classification, as the name indicates, is all about grouping. And now, Mr. Tatua, usually in this section, you'll be given four items out of which one is different. And then you'll be given. And now, in the instruction, choose the old one out or choose the one which does not belong to the group. So, these are the common instructions. Anyway, you're going to select the one which is different. The rest three have something in common. Let's see. Orange. Apple, rose, lemon. Which one is different? Obviously, rose is different. And why? Because it's a flower. The trees, orange, apple, and lemon are all fruits. Rose is a flower. So, this is the one which is different. It's very easy. You may be asking, uh, you know, you can expect deep from kinds of items. Uh, at times, you just need knowledge on biology, geography, chemistry, it's interdisciplinary. So, if somebody has general knowledge or is good at many things, may find it easier to answer such items. I hope uh, that the next one is Anthony. Anthony is uh, referring to opposite words. So, Anthony is opposite. You'll be given a word in block letters like this. Stingy, and you are expected to find the one which opposite to stingy. Here we've got four options: magnanimous, diligent, frugal, impoverished. Stingy means miter, sisita, kuat ari, eger malat, right? And now you see the karanya movement: chair, legas. So the one which means legas chair, the more. Magnanimous, which means generous in the manner. So, Yestinji uh, Takarani or Antony, magnanimous in the manner. Diligent Takari, frugal, Rastoma said, stingy, another meaning uh, for frugal. Impoverished means, uh, you know, very poor or dehavar, you know. The manner of the Kaya, Antony doesn't. How many of you say you like Kaya in the section? And I take him as I have to. Mindy no section, but I take it to the academy and the tabu. Lelaki, Basafu, Basimi YouTube channel, and you be Marvel English, Tuesday, Tagarinta, Slayer number section, many questions, especially questions from the national exam in Sarah. Again, I have improved Taragada to day by day. You gotta see that you can do it. Well, the next section is Sinonim. Sinonim, you are going to talk about the demo. Similarity, man. Similarity, man. Tamasasa. Kalu Seta. Renovate. The word is given in block letter, it's renovate. Options, divide, defend, renew, and demolish. So the one which get the same meaning is renew. Renovate, madet, madres So renovate man, madres madam, same as renew, so madres. Tamas as I stone, and demolish. Still, synonym now to remember it's elementary when it comes to the terms. Check guru men do know, you see, me get you to call out, I say it in a minute to call out, rare nature. Leza, you gotta be good at your vocabulary, big words, smart, not a speaker. 
so many times case it yet much gar rasa masrat yasfeg ya adul misal confidence achu mechamro ndegena demo bizu ye se it fetenaut ye medigagem bar yalachu lemisali ye 2003 woy 2004 la ye neber kas armet bohala ya gar ayzer mercha woy mer woy demo tiyek rasu limata ichilena working out many satellite store exams correct languages languages uh, mainly what about grammar structure and vocabulary languages ke grammar ke tegenay to some of the languages are the old man living next door living next door is the next door kick the bucket now the end of the line the meaning of the end of the term is is it to mean died, play football, get angry, through the bucket. Well, to kick the bucket means to die. To kick the bucket means to die. This is an idiomatic expression. This is an idiomatic expression. It's idiom. So usually you expect a different expression, not the ordinary one. In most cases, some sayings simulate idiomatic expressions are involved in languages or hard grammar structures. We'll have these questions in detail at other times, okay? The next one is sentence completion. Sentence completion, as you can understand from the term, you'll begin with a sentence with blank spaces. Uh, normally, sentence blank spaces with blank spaces are common in ordinary English exams, but this one is different. It may have two blank spaces in a single sentence. That makes it harder to put two words uh, and organize your ideas and comprehend it into a um, meaningful sentence. It makes it very hard. And I'm going blank space here. I'm going to make a blank space here. I'm going to make a blank space here. I'm going to make a blank space here. The young man was quickly promoted when his employer saw how blank he was. So context take a natural options, indifferent, lethargic, serious, and excited. You got on the meanings first before you decide where to put it in and which word to put it. You got on the meanings. Let me say indifferent means neutral, not concerned or not interested. The target treatment, but I'm the cover. Lacking some kind of energy. Malatno. A serious means hard worker, tatari, diligence, malatno. And excited means happy. And there is a key word. The young one was quickly promoted. Promoted malat. It get again ne tashashada, right? So when his employer alakau nins ninsla yabatno it get again Obviously, tatari slone. So contextually, you can put the word is in the Z7. We'll have more items from the national exam on other um, YouTube uh, sessions. Little to such much videos, but the board are going to sit together and get low reading passage. No, reading passage, you know, or to see source to let when we turn from Arat to the original and reading passage, I will let you know a little bit crude and not encouraging Arat to channel, but no. The most important part logically, analytical reasoning. And as you know, reasoning in quality, you test me and assess me. You'll be given with premises and a statement set to conclude my leg. When conclusion is set up, statement and a conclusion set to, yet new conclusion, follow your argument, valid, no, valid, and then when after. The paragraph line, some facts is set up. Some facts which, but they are assessed. They are put to the merit of the assessment. Take like the peasant word problem in it. You see, they are called nazar. Very much YouTube lesson is like in Sahara. But the YouTube lesson is a kind of glimpse of SAT. I can actually understand it. But the data type, the minimum actual videos like. لبچال لبچا سچو نچو ناتن نماره. یا بعضی میانه کویه نباست کنه. تمارو چی میگر آب داری؟ یعنی بعضی بامنی چه گرانو مینگانو مرد داده لباقچو میاد میاد. یکی میداده لباقچو میلون. 
ብዙ ልምዱ አለ ብትሰማሪ በእናንተ አስተያየት ላይ ተመስርተን እንግዲህ ከሚስተር ገለታም ጋር እንዲሁም ደግሞ በማርቪል ኢንግሊሽ ዩ ተጋግዘን እንሰራለን አይ ሁድ ላይክ ኢት ኢፍ ዩ ላይክ ኢት ኮመንት ኮመንት ኦን ዘ ሪሰን መሸሻ ለልባችሁን እስተካከል መጽመር ያለበት ነገር ኮመንት አድርጉ በርግጥ ግን እንትቻለ ነገር ይላችሁ ይጣለው ለዛሬ እንግዲህ እቺ ትበቃለች ቴንክ ዩ ሶ ማች አንድ ሲ ነክስት ታይም ባይ